Now let's have a look at labeling. In this module we'll discuss labeling and relabeling of objects. Labeling can be temporarily or permanently and we can use commands like Chikan and EziManage to do that. Also we will restore labels and generate a system-wide relabel on boot. And we will end with a serious warning, so please stay tuned. Now what we've seen so far is that SE Linux is based upon the Linux security kernel module and allows or denies access based upon labels that are grouped in domains. We've also seen that part of such a label is the context type. We could say that almost every service that listens on the network, like HTTPD or SSHD, is confined. Next to that, also most processes that run as root user are also confined. In short, confined processes run within their own domain and can also only touch objects that are in the same domain. And as a nice example, we've already seen that a web server can only touch the ports that are located in the same domain as the web server itself. And another thing we need to realize is that by default, after an installation, SE Linux is enforcing. So in fact, if you do not make any changes to the configuration of the objects in the different domains, then you will not even notice that SE Linux is enforcing. However, if you change configuration settings of services that you want to run, this may result in subjects being denied access to objects because the context type simply don't match. In the previous example, we used the web server to make it listen to a different port than the original ports, which resulted in a denial. We fixed that by adding the port to the domain. Now in this discussion we're again going to use the web server, but this time we will use the document root of the web server to explain necessity to change the labels on disk to allow a new configuration. So we're actually going to change the document root of HTTPD.